Michael Jackson's Thriller Album. Stories in the Room. This is Michael Jackson's Thriller Album, Stories in the Room. Join film composer Anthony Marinelli, who programmed synthesizers for seven songs on Thriller, and a and veteran film producer Stephen Ray, who assisted Quincy Jones and was in the studio every day with Quincy and Michael. Michael Jackson's Thriller Album, Stories in the Room. I'm Anthony Marinelli with my longtime close friend and co-host, Stephen Ray, bringing you the real stories directly from the talented people in the room with us during the making of Thriller, the greatest selling album of all time. You auditioned, but then what was it like hearing the news? Like, you did you just leave or how did you find out that you were going to be doing well, it? Yeah. I don't remember that. I think, I think we found out there. I they think picked they right picked there. the people right there. And I think we had a small, like, okay, let's, the people that we picked out, let's see them work together and do the choreography. And then it was sealed at that point in time. Oh, so they yes. were ready to... We didn't go home and listen to anything. Right. It was sealed right then and so there. So keep going with the sequence. So then what happens the next day? But wait, but, but, but before you do that, <laughs> something just came up for me. When Do you know when Michael Jackson met Michael Peters? I don't know. I've always wondered how that happened. Wasn't he at the audition? No, no. He Someone had to have referred. So what choreography were they doing at the audition? So it, no, we, it, it well, could have been at a... It no, because Beat It, Beat it became... Beat It was, was first. Beat it, okay, that's so where they my, met each other. Well, that, it would be there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I can't remember if we did... I mean, you know, we. I think we all... A, a lot of us had done some sort of job with Mike, with the Jackson Five, more than. Ah, maybe it was there. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wondered if it was did it like when Greg Filling games each other, did it go back to the Jackson Five right, right? days? Did yeah. Michael Peters know him then? You know, I I don't yeah. think so. Okay. I think that this. I think the relationship was between Michael. Peters and the director, uh, and then, okay. you know, I don't know if Michael Jackson would have remembered him from any other jobs that we might have done together because, you know, we were always kind of separate, the dancers and the actors. And, it, right. and we would be in the same room together, but we didn't have a lot of time to interact with one another. Right. So I would say he met him maybe when they did, when he did Thriller, right. and that's how he developed a relationship. I knew him way before then. Right, of course, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But he happened to be hired by the director. Yeah, yeah I you think. you happened to audition separately, so well, he it, didn't bring you in necessarily. He, Michael Peters, yeah. Well, he was, because Beat It was first. Yeah, so Michael Peters brought, just brought myself. He called certain people, said, I want you to come and audition. Right. You know, he called a group of people, and uh, I, I don't know if there was an open call or... I think at that time, I don't know if we had agents yet, because you know, then that became the thing. Yeah. But I think he called a bunch of people. They, there was a call out for this audition. Yeah. But he had a group of people he definitely had his eye on that he definitely wanted to use. But we had to, we had to deliver the, the style. I'm right. sorry, I, th I threw you off. This, we can continue with the sequence of what you were saying. Well, yeah, because I want to yeah. know like what happened when you actually got it, how the thriller video got made, because. There's like, I wrote down a few things, the rehearsals, how the choreography developed, and then you had to put on this makeup, makeup that was... and then work with the costumes. And like, it starts to be different when yeah. you're moving without it, and then yeah. you get this stuff put on you, and then you're blocking, and then there's the camera, and then mm -hmm. the final, and then how many takes, you know? I'm oh my so gosh, yeah, yeah. That So rehearsal, I believe, was just for a week. And Michael and Michael Jackson used to get together and work out some steps because it had to be something that he could do, that he could, you know, resonate with as well as the creation that, you know, Michael Peters came up with. And um, then we would have rehearsals. And I think, I think John, the, the director, I think he came in every day to see the development of mm. things that were happening and there were different shots that, you know, we needed to get and... Then we went into uh, we we went to the set. It was done. We had to be there. It was crazy. We had to be there like at one o'clock in the morning or ten o'clock at night. It was very. Whoa. It was very. Oh yeah, strange. because it was all shot at night. It was all at night. 
Yeah. And it was on the streets. And I had dangerous streets. <laughs> dangerous streets. They had to they had to secure the streets. They had to gate it off. People came down because they heard it was going to be shot down there with Michael. They came to see Michael. Because we, we have to remember that the thriller video and like the, even it being a single and the, it was like a year later. Right. Because everyone knew how big Thriller was Oh, yeah, was that already. point, Thriller was huge. We, we tend to forget yeah. this, that the, the album like the went ab- that long. Yes. We're still releasing singles. Right. Yeah. And so then we got down there, and then they were figuring out the, the, the costumes, you know, and they were figuring out the makeup. And that was a five-hour process. The first day, it was five hours that we sat around and got, you know, and they were using prosthetics on certain people, and they ran out of prosthetics when they got to me. I'm like, <laughs> so they started picking stuff up off the floor and putting it on my face. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. And then you're like this, you know, you're yeah. sitting around with this makeup on, and I'm like, okay, we're in heels, not sneakers, dancing on concrete. I had just, I had had a lower back problem from doing Bessel Whorehouse in Texas. So I put on, the costume allowed me to put on a back brace so that I keep my back strong and erect um, and not injure my back anymore, dancing in heels on concrete it's funny in the I was, cold. I was just going to ask you, what was, was that, tight muscles. what was that like? Dancing is different dancing in tights in rehearsal versus on dancing with floor. all that, on a wood floor, with all that costume the how costume different was, was that the costume wasn't in? that cumbersome it, it, the, the costume wasn't that cumbersome it was the makeup that felt more cumbersome really because it just had your face you couldn't you weren't free yeah. here the costume was okay it was rags we it didn't it, we didn't care about getting it dirty or wrinkled so that right. was really comfortable it was the heels the concrete and the and you the makeup. You don't breathe the same when your face is tight. Right, you know, and right, it's all, exactly. And dancers go through. I mean, you're at such a young age. You're like already ex- experienced physical pain. I mean, it's kind of the unsung thing. The, and the dancers, like you said, they like got agents, and they even now it's still rough. I mean, it's the, the rough. length of your career and and the pay and everything, and it, it can be rough. And if you get injured, you know, I mean, that's why we. It was kind of different doing this because when you do television and film, you have a you have a union, and there was no union that was had any jurisdiction over videos. So we had no way of like compensating, getting compensation for any kind of injuries. It was just in the late hours too. In the late hours, oh, yeah. in the cold, and it was the, very cold. That it night. was cold. Yeah, it was cold. Because so, it was winter. When was it shot? It was. It, it it just was cold. It was like this kind of weather mm-hmm. that we're having right now. So it would maybe get down to, you know, 40 something, 50, but it, that was cold for a dancer yeah. to be outside. So we would definitely run back to the, you know, the 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 dressing rooms and stay warm and 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 keep moving because yeah. we had to dance full out, you know, once we that music came on and it was it was amazing to hear the music on the street. That it was blasting. It was so loud. The music went through your it went through your bones, and it was fabulous. It was the thing that inspired us to break through all of that stuff that we were hindered by. Yeah. It was yeah. the music that made us get through that over That's and over so and over again. It's like cut again. Yes, cut again. And as cut. soon as it would start, boom, boom, boom. Right. You know, it was like, okay, we're ready. Right. That music would cut through all of that noise of that pain and stuff that we were complaining about just minutes ago. That music would start and we would just be there. It was great. That's, yeah. It was great. Yeah. And I remember <laughs> how cold it was. <laughs> I do. Join us for the next episode of Michael Jackson's Thriller album, Stories in the Room, with your hosts, Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Watch our extended interviews on youtube.com forward slash at stories in the room. Audio only interviews are available on all podcast networks. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Stories in the Room. For the latest news and links, visit the website, storiesintheroom.com. This podcast is produced by Christian D. Brune and David Wolf. Recorded by Autovita Studios. Additional recording by Ben Rackless. Edited by Jay Spang and Sean Hedinger. Music by Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Michael Jackson's doing Rebel.